welcome back Shina's Kitchen with me, Shina. So today we're going to be making our paprika and herb tilapia foil bake with some vegetables. So if you're online, you've probably seen a couple of um, the foil dinner recipes or the foil lunch recipes, which is basically where you take um, foil and then wrap some vegetables, some meats, chicken, beef, whatever you want, potatoes, and then bake it in the oven. So it's all one dish and pretty simple. So I saw that and I was like, I'm going to try my own hand at it. So this is my own recipe. So I'm going to give it a hand and see how the recipe goes. So for the fish I'm using today, I'm going to be using some tilapia fillets. You could use red snapper. I know I often like using red snapper, but today we're using tilapia or whatever white fish you have available, you could use. And then for the vegetables, I'm going to be using some courgettes. So the courgettes, I went ahead and cut off the edges and then I cut them into half and cut them into big chunks and I'm also using some onions which I did the same thing peeled cut it to half and cut into big chunks and then I'm also using some tomatoes which I've just gone ahead and um, cut into half and then cut into big dices and then for the herbs, I'm using some parsley and some basil but you could use whatever fresh herbs you have in Kenya we have a lot of dania so you could use that and um, you could also use some thyme. I'm going to be using some dry thyme as well. But whatever herbs you like to use, you could go ahead and use that. I'm using some lemon as well and some garlic. So this dish is really simple to make. All you have to do is get your vegetables and then season them with whatever seasonings you're using and then put it with the fish and put it in the oven. So I'm adding my tomatoes and I'm using ripe tomatoes as you can see. My onions and courgette. And then my dry thyme, paprika, salt, black pepper, chili, oil, and then our fresh herbs. So the fresh herbs, you could put them in um, as they are, a bit chunky, and just throw them in there. Or you could finely chop them. So I'm just going to put them in a bit chunky and then my basil leaves I'm also going to do the same thing I'm just going to put them as they are whole I'm just going to tear them roughly and then I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything in together oh I almost forgot my garlic so I have some garlic which I'm going to add to my vegetable meat so I'm just going to bash it and add them whole So I've just bashed them, I'm going to remove the skin and then add them whole. And because I've bashed them, they've kind of already split by themselves, but you can also give them a hand. And then just mix everything in again. And then the fish, I'm going to pat it dry and season it with some salt, some black pepper, some more chili flakes, and the fresh herbs which I'm going to finely chop, the basil and the parsley, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Finely chop your basil and parsley and add it to the fish. Some paprika and finish with some oil. And a squeeze of lemon juice. Once you've added all your spices and fresh herbs, go ahead and massage your fish and make sure it's well coated on both sides. So it should have a beautiful reddish color. So don't be afraid to like really dig in and massage it everywhere. And then we're going to leave our fish um, to marinate if you want to for like about 10 minutes and then we're going to now add it together with the vegetables and bake it. So get yourself some foil pepper and um, kind of want to double layer the foil so I have two of them here. And then I'm using a baking tin. This is just a tray. You can use a plate so that I can be able to brush my foil. Again, because I've already put oil in the vegetables, I kind of don't really need to do this step, but I just like to be sure that my vegetables won't stick. And if you don't have a brush, you can brush with your hands or you can brush with a spoon. So lay your fish on top of the vegetables once you have um, laid them on the foil. Then you can get some of the juices and just drizzle around the fish. 
So make sure your fish is sitting on top of the vegetables and then go ahead and um, cover the foil. So bring your foil together and, and do not wrap it too tightly because you want that to be a bit of um, steam for the fish to cook. So make sure that the foil is not wrapped too tightly. So just bringing it together and folding it. Alternatively, you could just wrap the foil over, but remember not to press down, so just wrap it over gently. So you could use whichever method you find easier between the two. So depending on the size of your fish, your fish may take a bit longer or shorter, so bake it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at about 180 degrees Celsius. And remember, the oven should be preheated, otherwise it's going to take longer than 15 to 20 minutes, so make sure it's preheated. So it's been about 20 minutes and my fish is ready and if you were in this room, oh my god, it smells so, so, so good, so, so good. Everything smells delicious, so let's unwrap. Ta-da! You can see the steam. Ooh, look at how colorful that looks. It looks so delicious. Oh yeah. I can't wait to just taste everything. Mm. <laughs> Look at how flaky that fish is. Oh my god, just look at that. So juicy. Oh. Guys, this tilapia fish, oh my god, it is really, really good. The spiciness the, from the paprika, the little chili I put in there, the lemon in the fish, the basil, you can pretty much taste almost everything that's going on. And I didn't put any water as you saw, and there's lots of juices from this, and that's because um, it's from the tomatoes because they've softened and the vegetables. This it's just absolutely delicious. If you wanted to have this with rice, that would be an absolute perfect match if you ask me. That's what I'll have it with. But just as itself, it's just <sighs> I could eat this by myself. <laughs> I'm almost forgetting to sign out because the fish tastes really really good. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed my paprika and herb foil baked fish with the vegetables which were the courgettes and the tomatoes. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, this was my take on the whole foil packet um, dinners that I've been seeing going around or lunches that I've been seeing going around and I absolutely love this dish. You should definitely give it a try. If you haven't seen my other fish recipes, definitely give them a go. I have a health, healthy, have an easy healthy fish recipe on the channel. Check that out. And I also have a prawns recipe. Make sure you check that out as well. So if you're looking to try out some healthy, delicious recipes that are really simple to make, make sure you give this recipe a go. And of course, subscribe to the channel, click the notification button next to it so you can get updates every time I post. And follow me on social media, Instagram, I'm pretty active over there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!